Now, are you saying the papal claims are on that level where you cannot be saved unless you hold the papal claim, papal claims? Um, because I mm. go, 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 go. Yeah, it's a good question. Um, I would, I would affirm what Unum Sanctum teaches, and that is that it's necessary for the salvation of every soul to be in submission to the Roman Pontiff to be saved. However, does that mean then I think all well, Orthodox are going to hell? No, actually, no. Because I think it's impossible for a person to have that implicit submission without it being explicit. And here's how. If a person knew, let's say you have an Orthodox, and they knew that th this is something that Christ handed down and he expects me to assent to this. Um, if that were the case, and they assent to it, they have that explicit knowledge, they assent to it, great. Let's say they're not aware of that necessity. However, they would assent to it if they knew that Christ actually required it of them. Now yes. you have an implicit uh, assent. I think that Orthodox have that implicit assent, at least most do, because I think the vast majority of Orthodox, if they knew Christ expected this from them, they would assent to that. They wouldn't say, no, I'm not going to accept something that you pass down. I, I don't think most Orthodox. Yeah, and count me in that camp. Yeah, yeah, definitely count me in that camp as well. So I don't think that it's necessarily an impediment to not have an explicit submission to the Roman pontiff, because I think that that implicit uh, affirmation is there.